It is a, a great treat today to have the speakers we've got tell you what really goes on in our General Assembly. <laughs> I know what you read in the paper, but you know, there's some things on the news that are so misleading. And, and the thing is, they've been beating up on our governor so bad. You know, I mean, really. I mean, here's a guy doing his best. Keep taxes low. Balance the budget without raising taxes. Why, I watched an interview last night on Channel 3, and I, if you missed it, from Mr. Corso, where I watched the most amazing thing since the loaves and the fishes. <laughs> Did you watch that? Unbelievable, yeah. Uh, past life. But anyway, absolutely amazing because at the beginning of the interview, this is a four minute interview, I insist that you watch it. At the beginning of the interview, the governor talked about a $28 million shortfall in VRS. You may have heard about it. This is just a terrible thing. How did that happen? It was a little bit like it was a little bit like Casablanca, you know. I said I'm shocked, I'm shocked that there's gambling going on here. Well, he also explained how that the local governments had nothing to complain about about this shortfall. Wolfie, we got nothing to complain about. Everything's rosy. It's all rosy. Why? Those teachers that we fund through the General Assembly, why, they're really local employees. And so, therefore, we should pick up that tab for the second time. What the heck? You know. Now, that's a, that's a pretty broad stretch. What was really interesting is we started out this interview with a 28 million dollar shortfall, right? By the end of the interview, he was bragging about a one billion dollar surplus. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God, I can't make it up. Just so you know about those guys who signed a no tax pledge. You probably heard about those guys. They all have one thing in common. They have an R behind their name. And they said, no, we balance the budget without raising taxes. That's that whole low and vicious thing. Right? Ophie and I, we're dealing in the real world where the money is actually spent. Right, Ophie? And just so you know, that this no tax thing means that Fluvanna is going to raise its real estate rate 11 cents, Albemarle 10 cents, York County 10 cents, Gloucester County 10 cents. You see a pattern here? Appomattox County 9 cents, Orange County 4 cents, Shenandoah County 8 cents, Bath County 2 cents. That's uh, hometown. Um, Lockingham County, four cents. Augusta County, a minimum of three cents. Williamsburg, three cents. Lexington, four cents. Fredericksburg, seven cents. You're starting to get the pattern, right? This is, these are taxes that are going to be paid by real estate owners who have businesses that may or may not have made any money last year. Some of them might have even lost money last year, but they're nonetheless going to pay more taxes because the General Assembly's budget balances on the locality. 